Let's get started. First of all, let's understand why does this error happen? There are several reasons. Number one, a corrupted system file. Number two, you recently installed buggy or incompatible software. Number three, a recent Windows update. Number four, your system was running a heavy task when it crashed. Now, there are two situations you might be in. First, your PC boots up, and after using it for a while, you see the blue screen error. Second, you turn on your PC, and it shows the blue screen before even booting into Windows. Let's handle the first situation. So, right after booting into Windows, click the Start menu, then go to Settings. On the left side, click System. Then scroll down and choose the Recovery section. Now, look for the option called Advanced Startup, it'll be at the bottom. Click Restart now under that option. After restarting, your system should now run smoothly without crashing. Now, let's talk about the second situation. Your PC doesn't even boot, and you're stuck on the blue screen. In this case, we'll need to access the Windows recovery options. Here's what you need to do. Press and hold the power button on your PC until you see the Windows logo. Don't release it yet, this will force your PC to shut off. Now, do the same process again, press and hold the power button, wait until you see the logo, then let go. Repeat this three to four times. After the third or fourth forced shutdown, you'll see the system recovery menu. In the recovery menu, click on troubleshoot, then select advanced options. From here, click on command prompt. This will open command prompt with administrator access. Now, let's run a few commands to fix the problem. Type the first command, sfc slash scan now, and hit enter. This will begin a system scan, it may take a few minutes to complete. After it finishes 100%, type your second command. Check disk C. And press enter. Once that's done, enter the next command. Bootrec slash fixmer, hit enter. Then, bootrec slash fixboot, hit enter. Next, type bootsec slash nt60 sys and press enter. And finally, run your last command. Bootrec slash rebuild, then hit enter. Once all these commands have run successfully, type exit to close command prompt. These steps will fix file and boot related errors. But what if the problem was caused by a Windows update? Once you exit the command prompt, you'll be back in the main recovery menu. Here, click on troubleshoot, then go to advanced options. And this time, click on uninstall updates. You'll now see two options. Uninstall latest quality update. Uninstall latest feature update. First, Choose the quality update, click the uninstall button and follow the prompts. Then, choose the feature update and uninstall that as well. Now, just restart your PC, and after doing all of these steps, Windows should boot up smoothly and without any blue screen errors.